this patient was referred to me for endodontic retreatment of teeth number four and number six. But take a look at tooth number two. That tooth is in terrible shape. Take a look at it. What the heck is going on here? Anyway, this is tooth number six. As you can see, large periperiodontal Teeth number four and six root canals were done through a bridge by a, by another endodontist about a year ago. And a uh, patient came to see me because he said, I have a fistula on my gum. So I said, okay, let's take a look and see what we have. Tooth number four, that was a little bit questionable, but we got um, radiographs from the endodontist who had done the root canal. And it looks like tooth number four had a large periperiodontal and it's healing, it's healing, it's fine. So we don't have to redo number four. But number six, as you can see, large periperiodontal And let me show you the um, buckle. Um, what the patient called a sinus uh, fistula, but in reality, we call it a buccal parulus and sinus tract. And take a look here. Very good. We went ahead and traced it. As you can see, the tracer is going to apical area to tooth, tooth number six right there. All right, so that's that. Anyway, so we went over options with the patient. Uh, we can try to see if we can redo the root canal. First, non-surgically redo the root canal and see, give things a few months of in anticipation of, a, of an apical down the line. I will, I will obturate probably half of the root with MTA and um, we'll monitor the tooth for a few months, see what happens. If there is no healing, then we'll do apical. Also went over the extraction option with the patient. Uh, but patient, no, you know, the alternative to the redoing the root canal and maybe perhaps later on down the road, apical would be extraction. Patient said, give me a couple of days. I want to think about my options, but this is how we work up a tooth like that. Excellent.